Today we're going to be talking about the FS and VS40 that is located in this box. We're going to unbox this together. So in that box you'll find some foam, some documentation, some QR codes that let you navigate to the website to gain additional manuals. In this package here we'll find the actual camera. So here is our FS or VS40. The FS being fixed scanning, the VS being vision system, vision sensor. Uh, this camera can be upgraded to do just barcode or upgraded to do machine vision tools. This camera is a little bit larger than our FS VS20. And the idea behind that is that we can support more features, more hardware in this form factor. So this measures about 2.1 by 2.5 by 3.6 inches. And we can get a 2.3 megapixel camera or 5.1 megapixel camera. So that added resolution lets us sort of detect even smaller codes that those extra pixels really let us zoom in on those items. The lens can come in a standard or wide range. So if you need a wider field of view, you can get the wide range camera. The lens adjustment is still liquid lens here. So it can auto focus, changing that depth of field dynamically based on the camera or the product or the program you're running. On top, we have our tune button. This allows us to auto tune the camera. So if you place a barcode in front of this camera and you press tune, it will automatically search the field of view for that barcode, adjust the lighting settings. So it is a kind of a one touch setup for your image settings. On the other side here is our trigger button. If you're not near the PLC, HMI, or whatever your triggering device is, you can manually trigger that here to get a fresh image. On the front side here, we have this sort of protective metal cover here. And behind that, we have our different lighting options. So this camera can be ordered with different lighting. Right now, this one here is a red light, but you can get it in white or blue or RGB. Um, you can also get filters for this thing. So if I kind of bring those in, here's our RGB adapter so you can take this apart, install this, swap it out for flexibility. Here's another cover that allows you to sort of get a little more lights. These little uh, lenses help project the LED differently. And then here's a filter. So what a filter allows us to do is that if we have a red filter and a red light, it will only allow red light into the camera, sort of eliminating any environmental lighting noise. On the bottom of this camera here, we have three ports that are covered. Uh, the first port on the right here is our Ethernet port. This camera can talk, you know, Modbus, TCP, TCP IP, Ethernet IP, Profinet, and more field buses will be released over the time. This middle connection here is for additional lights. So if I want to drive an external light, like this one shown here, Zebra offers additional lighting. So if I want to do kind of like a low angle lighting situation here, I don't need to run a separate cable for this. I can daisy chain it right off of this connection. This last port here is our IO port. So we can supply 10 to 30 volts DC and have nine programmable pins. So I can set some of those pins up to be inputs, some to be outputs, and you know, depending on your application, it's very flexible. On the back side here, we have our four mounting holes. On the side, we have two, and on the other side, we have two. So it gives you sort of a, a good range of mounting options. Also included in this camera is a laser aiming diode. Since this camera can be located fairly far from your product, an LED diode, uh, aiming diode will become too diffuse. So that lasing, laser system allows you to project light and stay sharp. We talked about connectivity, I'm gonna return back to this side. There's a USB-C port on the bottom. So if you did want to plug this into a PC or some other USB device for just kind of data streaming out the barcodes or the codes you're reading, you can connect it there. This port handles up to one gigabit of information out. If you're sending a lot of data like images and communication, you can actually buy an extra module on the back here for dual ethernet. So you can have one cable going to your FTP server for your image state storage and another one going to your uh, PLC or your management device. So that makes it really nice and flexible, scalable with whatever your needs are. The IP rating is very rugged here. We have an I up to IP67, so it can handle washdown. The operating temperature here is 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The vision system on this can do barcode grading metrics. So if you're looking to grade your barcodes, 
and you know, do that analysis. We can also handle OCR, optic locating, pattern matching, and a lot of the standard machine vision tool sets that are available out there. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for your time and watching this video.